Welcome to the Daily Answer Writing Initiative at 9 p.m. This is Mohana Priya from Officers IAS Academy. For the aspirants who are watching this video for the first time, kindly watch the first video in this series so that you will get to know how to participate in this program. So today we are here to discuss the answer for the day 34 question. Before we start with the discussion, I would like to take a moment to appreciate all the aspirants who are making use of this opportunity and are writing sincerely on a daily basis. Okay, so the day four question was, elaborate the factors that trigger the occurrence of glacial lake outburst floods and explain their potential impact on human settlements and ecosystems. So before we get on to the discussion of this particular question, let me quickly give you an overview of what exactly glacial lakes are and what exactly is glacial lake outburst floods. So glacial lakes are the large water bodies which are formed on the top of or beneath a melting glacier. So how the glacial lakes are formed is when a glacier starts melting, it carries along with it debris, rocks and it creates a depression along the land surface and this melting glacier fills in the water in this depression. So the lakes formed by filling in these depressions created due to the melting of glaciers is what we call as glacial lakes. So the glacial lakes are held by these glacial deposits like it can be moraines, it can be rock debris or it can even be unstable ice which will hold this large body of water. So now how is this glacial lake outburst flood happen or what exactly is this glacial lake outburst flood is? When this glacial lake that is held by these unstable sediments or unstable ice suddenly breaks okay, due to different reasons, then it is going to result in huge release of gallons and gallons of water over downstream the river which is going to cause immediate flooding. So such floods which are created by this glacial outburst due to the breaking of these moraines or unstable ice <clears throat> or overflow of these glacial lakes which results in intense flooding is what we call as glacial lake outburst floods. Okay, there are different causes and of course it doesn't definitely is going to have an implication on the underlying river rhine areas and underlying ecosystems. So that is what we will be discussing in this particular answer. So first this question is asking you to elaborate the factors that trigger the occurrence of glacial lake outburst floods and also you will have to explain the potential impact it is going to create on the human settlements and ecosystems. So it's a 10 mark question. So first you will start with the definition of glacial lake outburst flood. So that will be your introduction and after that the main body of the answer should be the factors that cause glacial lake outburst flood. This will be the first part of your answer where you will give four to five points and then you will go about with the impacts of glacial lake outburst flood on ecosystems. Okay, this will be your second part of the answer where you can give four to five points and then you can conclude the answer by saying what steps can be taken for avoiding this glacial lake outburst flood or what mitigation strategies can be adopted. So this is how this answer has to be structured. So now let us see the what we will have to write for the definition and what are the points that can be given for the different parts of the answer. Okay. So first you will start with the definition which is about the glacial lake outburst flood. As I said, it is a sudden and catastrophic release of water from a glacial lake or ice dams. So it can be caused due to different factors and that factors is what we will be discussing in the second part or the body of the answer, right? So the factors, it can be accelerated melting. So when there is going to be huge melting of glaciers, it is going to add water to the glacial lakes, it is going to increase the amount of water in the glacial lakes which can be beyond its water holding capacity. And also the melting of glaciers can result in huge chunks of glacier ice falling into the glacial lakes which will push certain amount of water to overflow, right. So accelerated melting is one point and then ice dam failure. So the unstable ice which is holding this glacial lake can sometimes break. This breakage can be created due to a landslide or it can be due to an 
earthquake or unprecedented snowfall any extreme event can create this breakage of ice dam and then yes volcanic activity beneath the glaciers can cause rapid melting because it is going to increase the temperature because of which the melting is going to accelerate and therefore this again can be a cause and of course landslides when there's going to be landslides it is going to disturb this unstable sediments so there will be a huge disturbance in this stave, unstable sediments which are holding the glacier like and there are high chances of it breaking because of which it can create a flood and heavy rainfall of course intense melting heavy rainfall due to heat waves and earthquakes are also other potential factors which can destabilize these structures and result in flooding okay so now we are going to see what will be the implication so when imagine when huge amount of water when uh, gallons and gallons of water which was initially stored or held by a structure is broken imagine a dam breaking okay what is going to be the implications it is definitely going to cause a huge amount of implications on the settlements and ecosystems so first of all it is going to create widespread flooding okay it is going to create a huge infrastructural damage it can trigger landslides and mud flows so when huge gallons of water are released yes there is some extreme event which is happening in a place it can trigger the landslides or it can even cause mud flows and apart from that it can disturb the natural food chain it can destroy habitats it can disturb the natural food chains when this water is going to come down come down the stream it is going to carry a huge amount of debris erode rocks and other structures which can contaminate the water resources making the water inaccessible and not not consumable by the people and it can of course when huge amount of flooding is going to happen it erodes the fertile topsoil and it is going to impact the agricultural productivity in a particular region it will wash away the topsoil it is going to come and deposit huge structures of rock and debris over the fertile plains impacting the agricultural production and of course it is going to create a long lasting social and economic consequences so in order to clear that area in order to bring back to normalcy it is going to take a long time so the areas impacted by this glacial lake outburst flood face this economic and social consequences for a very long period of time there's loss of lives there's loss of assets yes so this is about the impacts of glacial lake outburst flood and then we can conclude by saying see this glacial lake outburst floods sometimes can be created because of anthropogenic factors like when you're going to construct a dam especially in seismic zones it can result in creating earthquakes in that particular region you're going to disturb the unstable ice and it can cause glacial lake outburst so whenever a development is happening in such regions be it seismic zones or highly vulnerable regions it is important take sustainable development measures that is proper mitigation strategy should already be in place so this development also should happen in a sustainable manner so that it does not disturb the natural environment so uh, implementing effective mitigation strategies can be a way in which such glacier lake outburst floods can be avoided okay so this is a way of concluding okay and apart from this yes now we're going to discuss few answer sheets we're going to go through few answer sheets most of the students had given very good answers for this so we have selected a few since every answer sheet cannot be discussed few answers most of the answers had good structures there was proper structuring of answers there was well written points okay so first paper is that of om sneha and her introduction yes she had defined the glacier lake outburst flood that is good and then of course she has given the factors accelerated glacial melting weakening of moraine anthropogenic activities like mining unplanned construction yes hydropower projects in the seismic zones do cause this glacier lake outburst flood yes destabilization by extreme weather events like cloudburst when there's going to be an intense rainfall all of a sudden it is definitely going to increase the carrying capacity of the lakes and because of which there will be a chance of overflow which can happen from the glacial lakes and it can also result in breakage of this sediments which hold that lake right so destabilization can happen through this means and then of course impact yes it does impact result in loss of life and property destruction of livelihood opportunities yes uh, alteration of natural ecosystems and species yes you're going to when there's going to be a huge flood the plant species and animal species are going to be impacted and cascading disasters is going to create other disasters like landslides and um, it avalanches flash floods all that is going to happen so her conclusion is yes to prevent such risks it is important to take 
some technological advancements, bring in early warning systems and more awareness to the public to be well prepared for this, right? And then another answer sheet was that of Raja Lakshmi and again her introduction, she had started by defining this glacial lake outburst flood factors again, glacial melting, marine dam failure, earthquakes, avalanches factors are good and then impacts, infrastructure damage, loss of lives, downstream flooding, water quality issues, of course it is going to contaminate the, contaminate the water resources, right, yes and biodiversity impact. Yes, sustainable land use planning, climate action, community planning are essential. Good. These are points which you can definitely write in your conclusion. And then the last paper is that of Arya. And this introduction also, start. he has started this answer by defining glacial lake outburst flood. Yes. And then climate induced temperature rise, which is creating melting of glaciers. Yes, accumulation of water behind the moraine dams, again, which is a result of changes in glacial morphology. Ice and moraine dam failures, avalanches or earthquakes, yes, causes potential impact, sudden release, it can cause flash floods, true, extensive damage, true loss of lives, displacement of people, yes, it is going to impact the river ecosystem, loss of biodiversity, I think all the points, it is very common and all the points are well written. And coming to the conclusion, proper mitigation measures and early warning systems are crucial for reducing the impacts of this floods. So this was about the three papers which we discussed. So now we are moving on to the question for day 5. So the day 5 question is, what are nature based solutions and how do they aid in urban water management? So this is the question for day 5. So I hope you all will make use of this opportunity and continue to write on a daily basis. Thank you so much.